Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Dela. Today I'm going to be teaching a 60 minute vinyasa flow focusing on shoulder stability and moving towards some arm balances um, with that intention of the future. If you have my playlist and are using it, feel free to start that now. And we're going to start in Sukhasana Iki pose, legs crossed. Option to come up onto the edge of a block or blanket. Allowing your thighs to waterfall forward and release your hip flexors. Find a tall spine with energy up through the crown of your head. Hands can rest heavy on your knees. You take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. You know, one more like that. Inhale through the nose. And with your exhale, allowing your eyes to close. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. And start to tune into the quality of your breath at the beginning of this practice. Noticing that if you feel it more in your chest or your belly, it's shallow or deep. Not trying to change anything yet, just observing it how it is naturally. Eventually coming to deep in the breath. Thinking of expanding your belly in all directions. On your inhale, expanding into front body, right side body, left side body, and the back body. And on your exhale at the bottom, hugging your navel to your spine, engaging slight Uddiyana Bandha. And continuing at your own breath pace. If you'd like to add a mantra with your inhale, I know I am breathing in. And with your exhale, I know I am breathing out. I know I am breathing in. I know I am breathing out. Notice if there's anywhere that you can send a little bit more breath into. Eventually releasing control of the breath, allowing it to return to its natural rhythm. Take a moment to notice any differences in your breath after practicing the deep diaphragmatic breathing. And eventually starting to channel the Ujjayi breath, the victorious audible breath that we use throughout practice. So starting by taking an inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth as if fogging up a window. And then maintaining that tension in the back of your throat on both the inhales and the exhales. A 
allow this audible breath to guide you and coordinating your breath to movement throughout the practice. If you'd like to join me bringing hands to heart center. I'd like to invite you to set any intention for your practice today. Whenever we come back to this position with hands at heart center, the invitation is to tune back into your intention and back into the breath, allowing those things to carry through your practice. When you're ready, taking one more inhale and one more exhale to set your intention into place. And eventually releasing your hands down to your knees and allowing eyes to flutter open. Find yourself back in the space, sit bones grounded into the earth, pulling up tall through the crown of your head. Inhale to raise both arms up overhead. Exhale to find right hand to left knee, finding a twist. These can come over your left shoulder. You think of moving right shoulder blade away from your spine and left shoulder blade towards your spine to deepen the twist. Navel energetically pulls back towards the front of your mat, finding an even twist from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. Staying here for a few more breaths. Take one more inhale. Exhale to come back to center. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale, now finding left hand to right knee. Right hand goes back behind you. As again, you pull left shoulder blade away from your spine and hug right shoulder blade towards your spine. Pulling your hips back towards the center of the space. Allow your inhales to lengthen your spine even more up and exhales to relax a little bit deeper into the twist. Stay here for a few more breaths. One more inhale and exhale to come back to center. Now walking your left fingers out to the side, inhale, right arm up overhead. Finding a side body stretch. When you feel your weight coming out of your right hip, energetically driving it down into the mat, expanding through your right side body, energizing through fingertips. Maybe gaze shifts up to help you open right side rib cage. Being careful not to collapse into left side body, keeping length in both sides of your body as you take one more inhale. And exhale to lower right arm down towards the mat, coming up to the seat, leaving your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Find your hand up over the mat, hovering a few inches until you find a nice stretch in the side of your neck. Stay here for one more inhale and one more exhale. On your next inhale, use your left hand to realign your head back to center. Take a moment to notice any differences between right and left side body. And when you're ready, rocking right fingers out to the right side of your mat, inhale, left arm up overhead. Spiral open with cage, gaze maybe shifts up. When you feel weight coming out of your left hip, pressing it back down into the mat. Keeping your jai breath flowing as you extend through your fingertips for one more inhale 
And on your exhale, releasing your left hand to a couple of inches off the floor. Right ear stays toward right shoulder, finding a stretch in the side of your neck. Maybe feeling the stretch all the way down your arm. And eventually on your inhale, using your right hand to realign head. Take a moment here, take some shoulder circles just to start warming up and opening your shoulders in one direction and then the other. Now if you have a strap, go ahead and grab that. We're going to take it in your hands at a distance that feels good to you. You can experiment a little bit with what this distance is. Finding it on the place that it is taut in front of you. Take an inhale, raising both hands up overhead and exhale to release back behind your body, opening through your chest. Again, taking this strap as wide as you'd like and taking it back the other direction for an inhale and exhale to release back in front of you. We'll take that just a few more times, inhaling up overhead, exhale to release back behind you. Inhale, coming back overhead, maybe elbows bend slightly to protect your shoulders. We'll take that one more time, inhaling up and back. Exhale to release down, inhale, coming forward. And now just one more time to the back, opening your shoulders. And releasing the strap behind you. Allow your hands to come back to your knees. Take a moment to tap into your shoulders. See how they're feeling now as we begin to flow. Take a moment to move any props away. And coming forward, finding wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, knees and tabletop pose. Right away in this tabletop pose, start to engage Hasta Bandha by pressing your finger pads down into the floor. Feeling energy pulling all the way up your wrists, arms, and into your shoulders. Use this throughout your practice to stabilize and integrate your arms. And when you're ready, taking an inhale into cow pose, release belly down to the earth, open your chest, gaze shifts up. Exhale, press the floor away, round your back. Inhale to cow pose. Exhale, press the floor away into cat. This anywhere you'd like, maybe shifting where you further over hands and cow pose and further back over legs and cat. And at some point, maybe taking some C-shapes or barrel rolls or any other movement on the spine that feels good here. Eventually finding a moment of stillness in your tabletop pose. Step your right left hand to the center of your mat. Inhale to take three big shoulder circles with your right hand. Sweeping all the way around, allowing your gaze to follow your hands. Making these nice and luxurious and moving with the breath. And eventually taking that in the other direction. Trying to find as much movement here as you can. Inhale to raise the hand up and exhale to bring it back down. Once you're even on both sides, keeping left hand in the center of your mat, inhale to extend right leg back behind you. Wild your tail of your left foot out to this side of your mat. And inhale, right arm comes up into the paragraph in the gate pose. Find stability in your bottom shoulder as you energize up through the fingertips of your right hand. 
in this easier pose, think of engaging Hasta Bandha and seeing how that can feel more stable in your supporting shoulder. Option to stay here, option to raise right leg as we hold for a few more breaths. One more inhale. Exhale to release foot and hand down to the mat, coming back into tabletop pose. Now walking right hand to the center of your mat, take three big circles with your left arm. Moving with your breath as you inhale, the arm up and exhale to the arm back down through neutral. Allowing some rotation of the spine as you do this. When you're done with that, inhale to extend left foot back behind you. Wag your tail so right foot goes out to the side of your mat. As you inhale, left arm through your heart, extending into paradoxical gate pose. Finding a straight line from your bottom wrist up to your top fingertips. Open your chest and support through your bottom shoulder. Option to stay here or to lift left leg up off the mat. Thinking like a kneeling half moon as you're lifting your leg up off the mat. Staying in for one more inhale. Exhale to release foot and hand back to the mat, coming back to tabletop pose. Take one more moment here for any movement in the spine and eventually come to a neutral tabletop. Engage Hasta Bandha. Inhale to press the floor away energetically, doming through the front of your back. Exhale to release, allowing your chest to melt down towards the floor. This is a small movement, but it'll build to more complicated things later. Taking this at your own breath pace for a moment. Inhale, pressing the floor away. And inhaling to release down, allowing your shoulder blades to pinch behind you. Taking this a few more times. Eventually coming back to a neutral tabletop. Inhale to extend right leg back behind you. Take a moment here to roll through your ankle in any way that feels good. And on your next inhale, lifting right leg up off the mat. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, left arm up off the mat, extending through the bottom of your foot and through your front fingertips. Stay for an inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, pressing floor away. Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, one more time, extend, exhale, everything comes back to the mat. Take a moment to reset. On your next inhale, left leg goes back behind you. Take a moment to roll through your back ankle, find some movement. And on your next inhale, lifting left leg up off the mat. Dial your toes down towards the mat. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, floating right arm up off the mat. Pressing the floor away with your left hand to stabilize. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Press the floor away even more, rounding your back. Inhale, extend, some points up. Exhale, rounding your back, knee to elbow. Inhale, extending back out. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, everything comes back to the mat. Take one more moment here for any movement, maybe getting into your shoulders a little bit here. And when you're ready, tuck your toes. And on your exhale, come to hover your knees up off the mat, pressing the floor away with your hands. Stay for the breath. Option to stay here, or option to extend right leg back behind you. Keep hips level as you stay for one more inhale. Exhale to release right leg back down to the ground. 
And if you did on the other side, extend left leg back on your next inhale. Stay for the breath. Maybe shift your weight forward over your hands. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale to come back and press all the way back, downward facing dog. Find your feet at hips width distance at the back of your mat. Chest presses through your arms. When you're ready, taking any conscious movement here, maybe paddling through your feet, maybe turning one knee and then the other and towards the center of your mat. Maybe taking a deep bend in both knees. And eventually finding a moment of stillness. Eventually on an inhale, rising up to the top of your toes, look to the front of the mat and on the bottom of your exhale, step between your hands, slowly coming to the front of your mat. Find right hand to left elbow and left hand to right elbow in ragdoll pose. And take a moment here to sway a little bit and to release your back and neck. Let your neck relax. Eventually hands come to the mat, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Deeply bend your knees and very slowly roll through each vertebrae to come to stand and soften the mountain pose. Roll your shoulder blades back and energize through fingertips down to the earth. Stay for a moment of breath here. Noticing all four corners of your feet on the ground. And when you're ready, inhale, arms up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, deeply bend your knees, forward fold. Let your head release, inhale, halfway lift, coming up to fingertips or hands to legs. Exhale to fold, take a step back into plank pose. Suspend here, we'll take the same thing that we did earlier in tabletop with the option to lower knees down to the mat. Staying here, press the floor away finding a doming in the upper back. Exhale to come back to neutral. Inhale, press the floor away. Exhale to come back down, taking that three more times at your own breath pace. On your last exhale, release knees and feet to the ground and slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Leave your hands on the floor and allow them to traction your shoulders down your back, pressing your elbows down to the floor. Eventually bring your arms out to cactus arms, 90 degree angle from your shoulder and elbows. On your next inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, hovering arms off the mat, forehead can stay down. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, arms extend in front of you, making sure that all props are out of the way. Exhale to bend back into cactus arms, thinking of pulling elbows together. Taking that two more times, inhale to extend forward. Exhale, hinge back, shoulder blades. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Eventually release your hands, stacking one on top of the other, coming into crocodile pose, releasing your forehead to your hands. When you're ready, hands are positioned under shoulder blades, press back into tabletop pose, and exhale downward facing dog. Release your neck, release your head. Press into your finger pads. Inhale to rise up high onto your toes and step or hop to the front of your mat on the bottom of your exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, Ardva Hastasana, upward salute, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
We'll take that a few more times with variations. Inhale, arms overhead, upward slowly. Exhale, swan dive forward, deep bend in your knees, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, take a step back into plank pose. Stay for the breath. Uh, do the stand plank again, option to release knees to floor. Taking alternate arms to tap the other shoulder, trying to keep shoulders stable. Moving at any pace, trying to find stability using pressing your finger pads into the floor. Playing with that for a moment. Eventually taking one more inhale and exhale to release knees and feet to the ground and slowly lower all the way to your belly. Hands are positioned under shoulders. Inhale, to come up, cobra pose. Traction elbows back towards your hips for a deeper back bend. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, put melt your chest back down to the ground. Inhale through tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, and now we're facing dog for a few breaths. Maybe leaning into one shoulder and the other. Eventually inhale the rise up on your toes, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale to step or float between your hands. Uttanasana forward fold. Rear your feet to hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up overhead or it's a hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment to feel energy balancing between right and left side body. Take a couple breaths. On your next inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, deep bend in your knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, step back, plank pose. Suspend here for an inhale. Exhale to come down to elbows. Inhale, press back up onto hands. Exhale, coming down right and left. And coming back up right and then left. One more time on the side, coming down on your right arm and left arm. And inhale to come back up and sustain. Now going to the other side. Again, option to release your knees. Exhale, left arm comes down and right arm. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale. Inhale to come back up. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, coming back up. And one more, taking either hand down, coming into forearm plank. Staying here for just a few breaths. And on an inhale, walking feet forward into dolphin pose. Allow your chest to release forward. Hands can clasp or come to prayer pose or turn down to face the mat. Stay here for a couple breaths or release knees to the earth and come into child's pose. If you're in child's pose, maybe taking hands to prayer arms and bending your elbows behind your head for a little bit more of a shoulder release. Wherever you are, breath is flowing. When you're ready, inhale to roll up to tabletop pose. If you're not there already, exhale to press back into downward facing dog. Try and find a fresh energy approaching this pose. If it's your first time in class thinking about prepping, finger pads into floor, energizing through arms and legs. Inhale to rise up high onto your toes, shift forward over your arms and look forward, coming to plank pose. Exhale, bend your knees, press back, hips up, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, rise up high on your toes, shift forward over your hands. Knee shifts forward to plank. Exhale, bend your knees, press back, downward facing dog. One more like that. Inhale to rise up high on your toes and shift forward to plank. Stay here. When you're ready, shifting weight onto your right hand and bring left arm through your chest up into side plank, Vajrasasana. Option to stay here or to stomp left foot in front or behind. Wherever you are, can you press right finger pads into the floor? Feeling energy rising up through your wrist to your shoulder. If you're out here still, maybe legs stack, maybe legs. Stay one in front of the other. Maybe left leg floats up into star pose. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale to bring left hand back down to the floor, coming back into plank pose. Bend your knees deeply, come back down, we're facing dog. Take a moment to breathe. Inhale to rise up on your toes, shift forward over hands, gaze looks forward. And when you're shifting weight into the left hand, right arm comes through a heart to extend. Option to stay here or stomp right foot in front of you or behind you. Wherever you are, pressing left finger pads into floor. Lifting through your right fingertips. Breath is flowing. Taking one more inhale here. Exhale to bring right hand back down to mat. Coming into blank pose. Exhale to press back, downward facing dog. Release into your shoulders. Maybe coming down to dolphin pose if you want more, releasing your shoulders here. When you're ready, inhale to rise up on your toes, look to the top of your mat and step or hop between your legs. Hands. <laughs> inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Take a moment here with opposite hand to opposite elbow. Let everything release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up overhead, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stay for a moment, release hands to your sides. Roll shoulders up, back and down, finding a strong tadasana in the mountain pose. Feel all four corners of your feet in contact with the mat. Going to take a variation of warrior three. The option I'm going to offer is taking arms towards reverse prayer. So taking your arms behind your back and bending elbows. Maybe stay here with fists touching each other in the back. Maybe if you feel like you can start to move towards the reverse prayer, touching fingertips or coming all the way into reverse prayer. Finding your hands about your shoulder blade height, allowing that to open your chest. Tap your feet together, so a big toes touch. Take an inhale, shifting weight to your left leg. Take weight out of your right leg slowly. As you tilt forward, as if your leg and body are in one plane. We'll only be here for a couple breaths. Option to tap your back foot down as often as you'd like. Stay for one more inhale. And one more exhale. Inhale to slowly come back up to stand. Release your hands. Give your shoulders a couple rolls. Maybe cross your arms. Give yourself a hug to release your shoulders in the other direction. And eventually coming back. Again, option to have fists around the bottom of your rib cage or to come into reverse, reverse prayer with palms touching or aiming towards touching. Stand at the top of your mat with big toes touching. 
Gently shift weight into your right foot, bringing weight out of your left. And slowly tipping forward. Because if your body and left leg were one straight line, keeping energy through your back foot, maybe coming to bend the right knee slightly for more stability. Permission to tap your left foot down as often as you'd like. As you take one more inhale and one more exhale, inhale to come back up to stand. Release hands by your side, take some shoulder circles. And inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Stay for a moment of breath. We're going to move towards some inversions. So what I'm offering is variations of handstand. So maybe today for you, that just looks like coming into downward facing dog, maybe lifting one leg and then the other, or maybe giving a little hop, trying to get a little bit of lift onto your hands. If you want more, maybe coming to a wall. Standing about a leg's distance away from the wall. Coming to find hands on the floor in front of you as if in a forward fold. Find Hashtabanda, press finger pads into floor. Find a puff of air under your palms wherever you are. Spiral biceps forward. And maybe one leg and then the other comes up to the wall, finding an L shape. From there, maybe one leg and then the other comes up, aiming towards handstand. If you feel like you're there, maybe coming off the wall entirely or staying here to keep breathing, pressing the floor away, option to come in and out as much as you'd like. Maybe readjusting how much space is between you and the wall. to best support you. Option to walk legs up the wall further and hands further to the wall. And eventually coming down. But before that, I'll give you a few more breaths to play in any way that feels good. Remember to keep breathing, engaging Hasta Bondo, feeling energy traveling up your arms. And eventually coming to stand into the Asana Mountain Pose. Take a few breaths. We're going to stay at a wall. If you'd like to go into variations of wheel pose, if the mention of that is scary, you're not feeling it today, feel free to start on your back and go to either bridge pose or wheel pose. But if you'd like to join me as a preparation for drop backs, finding the wall one's arms distance away as you twist to turn towards it. Inhale to find both arms up overhead. Exhale as you find the wall behind you. Walking your hands down just a bit. And coming out of it whenever you'd like. When you come out of it, hands come together and you come out of it evenly. That symmetry is what's going to allow for our stability in future poses. Move in and out of that at your own pace for a few minutes. Keeping the energy playful. And you're ready. Coming. To stand into the Asana Mountain Pose. 
Take a moment to just neutralize your spine. Feel all four corners of both feet pressing into the mat. If you're on your back, stay on your back. Release feet to the outside edges of your mat, knock knees together for a constructive rest. If you're standing, make your way back to your mat, standing at the top of your mat. Take any conscious movement here, maybe shifting into one leg and then the other. Inhale to take both arms up overhead. Exhale to bend your knees, finding a flat back as your fingertips come towards the ground. Exhale to slowly lower heels and hips together, still reaching energetically through your fingers. And exhale to slowly release down to a seat. Come to find Sukhasana, legs are crossed. Option to come uh, back into sitting on a block or blanket. Come to sit up nice and tall. Feel even weight in both sides of your body. And when you're ready, inhale both arms out in front of you. Exhale to cross right arm over left. Give yourself a hug. Maybe release your chin down towards your chest. And breath into the upper back and the back of your neck. Take a moment to really notice the sensations in this pose. The sensation of your hands touching your back. And eventually roll up coming back so your head is straight. Keep the cross of your arms coming towards eagle arms. If it's accessible to you, crossing to find palm into palm. If it's not accessible, coming anywhere towards that pose. Inhale to lift your elbows up. Exhale to drop shoulders down and press hands away from your face. Gaze maybe shifts up a few inches to the top of your fingers. Again, allowing breath to come into your upper back and shoulders. Notice how that feels different in this pose versus the previous. Stay for one more inhale. And exhale to release your hands down to your knees. Take a moment to notice any differences between right and left side body. And notice any effects of that have on your shoulders. Inhale, arms out in front. Exhale to cross left arm over right. Again, coming to hug yourself as much as you can. Maybe hands come to shoulder blades, if not coming wherever is accessible to you. I invite you to give a firm grasp with your hands here. Finding firm placement on your shoulders. Maybe your head releases down towards your chin and your upper back starts to round. Taking any conscious movement, maybe swaying a little bit. On your next inhale, roll your head back up the center. Keeping the cross of your arms coming into eagle arms, finding palms touching or a new place, aiming towards that pose. Inhale to lift your elbows, exhale to drop shoulders and press hands away from your face. Gaze can lift up towards the top of your fingertips. Maybe pulling shoulders forward slightly.
feeling breath into your upper back. You're noticing any other sensation here. Keeping your chest open, even as you're closing in with your arms. Staying for one more inhale. And exhale to release, hands to your knees. Take a moment to circle your shoulders or take anything else that would feel good. And when you're ready, dive over your feet, coming into tabletop pose. And eventually lower all the way down to your belly for a crocodile pose. Hands under your forehead, maybe taking your opposite hand on top this time. And releasing here. Just breathe. When you're ready, come up towards Sphinx Pose. Not all the way, finding just some space under your elbows to thread your right arm under your left into a variation of Thread the Needle. Maybe you stay with left hand by your face. Maybe it extends out in front of you. Maybe you stay here or maybe you bend the right knee to deepen the stretch. Coming into a half frog with that leg. Still maintaining your jai breath. Staying here for two more breaths. Next inhale, if your right leg is bent, extend it back to meet the left. Now bend your left knee toward your arm. Come to meet both hands as you roll onto your right side body and slowly unfurl onto your back, coming into a recline twist. Only after your lower body finishes moving, maybe your gaze shifts over left hand. Left shoulder is heavy towards the ground. Staying here for a few more breaths. Inhale, this extend arms up overhead and feet long behind you as you slowly roll down to your belly. Find cactus arms with both hands, shoulders and elbows at 90 degrees. Come up onto your right hand, putting some pressure next to your shoulder. Option to keep left arm in a cactus pose or to extend it long to the side of you as you gently roll onto left side. Flowing right leg back behind you. Keep your elbow below your shoulder height to protect your shoulders. Stay here for a few more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly roll back to your belly. Coming back to crocodile pose just for one breath. And eventually coming to put weight into your hands. Now threading left arm under right for a variation of thread the needle. Maybe right hand stays behind by your face, taking some pressure off the shoulder. Maybe it extends long in front of you. If you did so on the other side, maybe bending left knee, coming into half frog.
Oh, on your next inhale, extend left leg back to the back of your mat. And slowly bend right knee towards your left hand. Hands meet on that side of your mat as you slowly unfurl into a reclined twist, rolling over onto left side body. Right shoulder is heavy towards the floor, right knee. With every exhale, releasing a little bit more. Maybe gaze shifts over right hand. We'll be here for a few more rounds of breath. On your next inhale, extend arms and legs long as you slowly roll back to your belly. Again, finding arms and cactus arms, maybe right arm stays bent or extends long. As your left hand comes under shoulder, as you push over onto your right side body. Be as gentle as you need here. Opening right shoulder. Maybe a feeling sensation across your chest. Think of pressing your right forearm into the ground to activate the stretch. Be here for a few more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly roll back over onto your belly. Again, coming to crocodile pose. Release everything into the ground. And when you're ready, staying low to the ground, roll over onto your back. Let knees point up to the ceiling. Shoulders walk under you. Shoulder blades flat on the ground. Maybe rock your knees from one side to the other, releasing your lower back. When you're ready, hug knees into chest, thinking wide knees, feet touch, and maybe coming into happy baby with hands to the outsides of your feet. Taking a moment here. Maybe bending and straightening one knee and then the other. Not pushing into any uncomfortable range of motion here. Just finding any comfortable movement. When you feel complete, releasing your grip on your feet, releasing them back down. Use your arms to pull your knees in towards your chest. And give them a little squeeze. Maybe your head comes up off the ground, curling into a little ball. Maybe rock back and forth and up and down on your mat. An invitation here to take any more conscious movement in a cool down fashion. And when you're ready, extending legs long, allowing feet to roll open. Shoulder blades walk onto your spine, palms come by your sides and face up as you find Shavasana. Take an inhale here and an exhale to allow your eyes to close. Release control of everything. 
Allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. Take a moment to check in with the physical body. Notice if there's any place that you can relax a little bit more. Flex the forehead, muscles behind your eyes, your cheeks, upper lip, jaw. Relax your throat and your neck, your shoulders, arms abdomen, lower back and hips, and legs. Let the whole body relax. Eventually come to observe the quality of your thoughts and also what you perceive to be your emotional or energetic body. There's no judgment, no trying to fix anything or change anything. Just as an observer. Release all control of anything. Allow yourself to just be here. For one human being to love another, that is perhaps the most difficult of our tasks, the ultimate, the last test and proof, the work for which all other work is but preparation. When you're ready, start to deepen your breath. Invite subtle movement back into the body, wiggling fingers and toes, maybe circling wrists and ankles. Maybe shaking your head no, massaging the back of your head on the mat. Maybe taking a big morning stretch. As eventually you come to roll onto your right side body, using your right arm as a pillow. As you lay on your side, take a moment to reflect on any intentions that you set in the class regardless of whether or not you achieve these things. 
reflect on what you did find in this practice. And find a moment of gratitude to yourself for showing up on your mat today. Your body for carrying you through this practice. And for this practice and all that it has to offer us on and off the mat. When you're ready, press weight into your left hand and come up to a comfortable seat. Hands can come to knees, or if you'd like to join me, bringing hands to heart center and Anjali Mudra, square pose. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe shines. I honor the place in you which is of love, of truth, of life, and of peace. When you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, we are one. If you'd like to join me, bringing third knuckles up to third eye center. We'll seal this practice with a blessing of Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for your practice. 